Hello everybody. I've made this video to help you make a normal probability plot in Excel if you are only given the raw data or the observed values. So I'm all set up to start this problem in Excel. I have my observed values from the homework. I have my column headers in. So observed, index, this F sub I calculation, and then the z-score. This is ultimately what I'm looking for. These two help me find it. So the first thing I want to do is build up the index, and that's just where each piece of data is in my data set. So this is the first piece of data. This is the second piece of data. I can click both these numbers, highlight them both, and go to the special corner with this little black cursor and drag that down so that I get a count for each item of my data. And now I can see that I have eight pieces of data altogether. This is the fifth piece of data. This is the second piece of data. Now I'm going to build up this F sub I. So to do that, I'm going to copy the equation in the header, open parentheses. The first thing I want is I, and I stands for index. So I'm going to click on the appropriate index for this row, minus 0 0.375, close parentheses, divided by, open parentheses, N, N always stands for the total number of items that I have, and I can see that the total number of items I have is 8. So I'm just going to input the number 8 plus 0.25, close parentheses, enter. So I've created my FI for the first row. I need one for every row, so I'm just going to click on it, go to this special corner with the black cursor, and drag that down. Now I have the FI for every single one of my observed values. The next thing and the last thing I need to complete this table is the z-score that has this area to the left in the normal, the standard normal, probability distribution. That's easier than it sounds. In Excel, I'm going to hit equals norm.s.inverse. Inverse, you can see, will input a probability, this probability, and will output a z-score. So I'm inputting this probability, and it will output the z-score that I need. So norm s, norm dot s dot inverse. The dots are important. Enter. Drag that down. And now I have my observed values, and I have my expected z-scores. And this is what I use to make a normal probability plot. So to finally actually make the drawing, I need to highlight all of my observed numbers, and then also highlight my z-scores but not highlight anything in between them. To do that, I press and hold the control key on the keyboard. It's in the bottom left corner and it says CTRL. So I'm pressing and holding the control key and then I'm going to highlight z-scores. Now you can see that it continued to highlight observed and allowed me to also highlight z-scores. Then I want to insert a scatter plot. Here is my scatter plot. I should be able to match this up with one of the plots in the homework. Some of the homework problems will ask you for a correlation coefficient. The easiest way to find the correlation coefficient is just to use Corel in Excel. So I'm going to click on any open space, hit the equal sign, type in Corel. It stands for correlation. Highlight the first numbers that I use to make my drawing, comma, highlight the second set of numbers I use to make my drawing, and then hit enter. And that's it. So this would be my correlation coefficient right here, and this is my drawing. And that's the bulk of what you need to be able to complete these homework problems. Okay, I hope that helps you with the homework.